Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. If you just stand in the shout, praise the Lord. That's our speakers. Why? Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Praise the Lord. You got one more time. Shall we praise the Lord, everybody? Shall we praise the Lord, everybody? Could you just turn to your neighbor and give them a testimony? A testimony. Not a song, not a scripture verse, but a testimony. Yes. And I would ask you to tell your neighbor that my God is a good God. You see me? If you can stand, I'm going to ask you to stand. Tonight. 
I'm going to ask you, man, do you believe in your deliverance tonight, man? I'm going to ask you to walk down and anoint the area. And after she's finished, I want you to just walk. Jesus. I see God in this house. And I'm asking the ministers under us to stay to sleep. If you can't stay to I'm going to ask you to join the people down the bottom. The Lord has been giving us a word in this house from Sunday that the Bible fulfilled. It says not even the priest could minister. I stood in this rostrum on Sunday. Ketosha. And the Lord gave me a sword. The job is done. Somebody You don't have to touch her. When you leave here tonight, you will never be the same. I command the deliverance. Every vein, every muscle, every vessel. I command strength now!
those who are going to sing from Pastor Brown's church, come. Thank you, Lord. I feel the Holy Ghost. Oh, hallelujah. Makasha. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah.
church shout hallelujah. Come on, let the church shout hallelujah. Let the church shout hallelujah. Amen. I want you to go around and greet somebody. Just walk around this house and greet somebody. Amen. And give them a handshake and just shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come on, show some love. Show some love. Come on, show some love. Amen. We got some people, we got some saints still sitting down. Amen. And walk around and show some love. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. 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 somebody because the fact remains we don't have to reach home tonight brethren I want you to think about it this may be your last worship on earth I want you to take a minute just to think you left your house tonight and maybe you have something on the stove waiting to eat maybe you have your clothes ready for tomorrow but the fact remains, you may not reach home tonight. Come on, I want you to think about it. There are many Holy Ghost filled brethren lying down in the grave right now. And some did not know that that was their last worship. Our former choir leader, she collapsed right in church after she saw me. And she never came back into the house on her two feet. They rolled her in. Brethren, this may be your last worship on earth. So if you come to worship, lift up your hands and shout hallelujah. If you really come to worship, I, well, hold on for a minute. I, I know some of you, your pastors said, come, I want four people to come tonight. But if you come for a reason, lift all your hands and worship God. So that was good because I told you to do that. But heaven is not filled with people with Simon says. It is people who voluntarily give God worship. He is you. You may feel some pain, man. Maybe something is not right in your life. But do you have a praise? Because God is right You can preach when you're not anointed, but God's mighty servant will come. 
the prophet just launched out in the deep. I did not greet everybody. I did not say greet to my bishop. But we come to worship God. And my eyes are closed to book in the house. And God is in a different future tonight. We come to worship God. We come to magnify God. We're talking about the worship of God in the deep. If you want to bless us, you're going to shout. Hallelujah. Because you know what I am what I found out? That it's in closing time now. It's wrapping up time now. And God is about to put forth his appearance. This is no time to choke now. This is no time to come to church and look cute. You must have a worship. When you get deep in God, you are ready for rapture. You're ready for trumpet. You're ready to be caught up. But you've got to be deep in God. For the Bible told us, praise God, that God shall descend with the trump of God. Praise God, and those who are alive and remain shall be caught up. But you've got to have it in your belly. Come on, touch your neighbor's and got it in your belly. It must be in your belly. Come on, it's not in your mouth, but it's in your belly. It shall be in you. Living waters, come on, somebody. Spring it up. Yeah. Come on, everybody got the living waters. We need Holy Ghost people in these times. We don't want to force worship. We want to get it in our belly. That when you get to church, the Holy Ghost kick off inside of you. You're ready to praise God. If you're in a row right now, then I approach me. Move your outer row. Yeah. 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 I say, if you're in a row and there's no worship, change your position. Yeah. Shut up, 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 up. I say, change your position. Yeah. I told Peter, change your position. Launch out. Yeah. Shut up, up, up. Launch out. If you're in a row right now, walk around the church. Lose yourself. Get on the big atmosphere. Change your, change your altitude, change your altitude, and give what's good for God Almighty. Blessed Savior. Blessed Savior. The word of miracle, the word in my heart, there is blessing in the launching. There is blessing in the launching. It may, it may not seem right, it may not seem good. There is pain in the toiling, but all you got to do is make a step. Somebody make another step. I know you've been burning down, I know you've been kicked down, I know you've been bruised. But all you got to do is get some faith and make a leap. Shout again, preach again, sing again, worship again. Let the devil know, but it's gonna look back it inside of you. And you're not gonna shut up. Come on, somebody praise the Lord in the house. Shame the devil tonight.
in the grave. And they were having a funeral and they brought this young man. That's right. And they lay him on the bones. On the bones, Bishop. The prophet bones. The bones, you know. Yes. Not the flesh. No, the flesh bones. Yes. But the bones were still there. Tell somebody you have to have it to the bone. Lord, somebody say you have to get this thing to the bone. Sorry, I'm young, but I sound old. But then I can get it to the bone, sister. That when the flesh gone, it's still there. Yes. When flesh get cancer and everything is gone, the Holy Ghost power is still there. Yes. When sickness rock your body, the Holy Ghost is still there. Yes. That's why I look at some old saints. And when they sit down and the sickness take them over, they can lie down and say it is well. Shabbos. When peace like a river attend it my way. When sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot. It is well. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, she told them, I see Jesus. Yes. Yes. True story. Yes. She woke up the second time. She said, I see Jesus. The third time she woke up, she said, tell the church, I'm going home, I see Jesus. And that was it. That was it. I'm not here to preach you happy. I'm here to preach you to reality. Yes. You see, this that we have, and we dress it up, we spray it up, nice haircuts, nice hairdos. One day, all of this is going to attract. We trust so much in this, yes. We we do what we can, and, and nothing wrong with that. Because it must look good. But the flesh one day is going to And all when you try to hold on to it. All when you try to hold on to it, it just slip out of your hand. Because it's appointed unto man wants to die. And after death, comes the judgment but somebody said we shall live again yes. come on somebody we shall, we shall live again we shall live again that's why I walk with my head high I don't care because I shall live again Lord of mercy do you got it oh my God. I'm, I'm not talking about the church hype and people Hallelujah. getting into hype Hallelujah. and after that Hallelujah. everything is done we got some people, they will go to the pulpit and they, and, and they, they, will, they will exhort fire. And when you touch your seat, you're dead like something else. It's only a facade. There's no realness. You will take over the service and you can't stop. But when you get back to the seat, there's no anointing. But even when you don't know how to preach, and you're not going to wrap up in your belly. You may not know how to testify, but it's inside of you. You may not know how to put your words together, but you got it. You may not be the smartest individual, but you got it. Somebody said, do you got it? Do you got it? I'm talking about the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Oh, somebody said, Holy Ghost. In these last times, we need to preach Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Hall
word is the church. Holy Ghost. Somebody say Holy Ghost. Somebody touch somebody say Holy Ghost. Touch somebody this Holy Ghost. Touch them, wake them up, wake them up. Wake them up, wake them up, say Holy Ghost. Shake the soul, say Sai Sister, Holy Ghost. Echo Shaka, shake them, say Holy Ghost. If them bats in the dark, the Holy Ghost. Glory God. Let me see who have the Holy Ghost in here. Who have the Holy Ghost in here? You feel it? Do you feel him? Do you feel him? Do you feel him? Do you feel him right now? If you don't feel him, come. Because we have people in church filled for years. And I feel nothing. Yes. You have all the word. Preachers are preaching. Without the power of the Holy Ghost. They will come and they put every word together right. But there's no anointing. No anointing. In this day and age, we need the power. Where the, where the pastors and bishops come down here. I want you to line up down here. I want everyone to stand on your feet right now. See, I say everyone stand up. People still sit down. That's what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Hold on, musician. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And I want you from the back. Where the pastors, please come. These pastors are going to touch you. Jesus, hallelujah. Because in this time, we need the fire of the Holy Ghost. We need to launch out into the deep. And you, you can't say you're in the deep and I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Come on, come on, somebody talk to me. Talk to me. I want you to line up from right here. Line up from right here. And you're going to walk from the back. Walk and let the ministers touch you. Touch you. Come on, where are you? Where are you? God, minister, supposed to have the fire. Fire the Holy Ghost. Fire the Holy Ghost. Come, let the ministers and bishops touch you. If you have a pastor here, you don't want him to touch you. Something wrong. Touch and move, come, touch and move, touch and go back to your seat. If you have pastors and bishops here and you don't want them to touch you, something is wrong. That's why pastors and bishops must be good standing. Pastors and bishops must be good standing. That the people can come to you in confidence and you can lay hands on them. Nobody's not afraid for you to touch them. Hallelujah. This will be your last. Your last service. Are you ready? 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 Jesus. Tomorrow we can hear that somebody here has slept away. We can hear evangelists and missionaries. Yes, we give a good testimony. Yes, you exalt, but you're gone. Bishop gone, pastor's gone. Hallelujah. 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 This could be your last service. My God, you would have to play the video to say, my God, let me hear him testify the last time. Let me see him sing the last time. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody lift your hands and worship God. If you can't do it down here, you're not ready yet. You're not ready yet. Somebody worship out of their seats right now. Come on, touch somebody 
somebody's hand and just begin to worship with them. Just uh, give somebody a boost, touch somebody's hand uh, and begin to worship with them. Uh, maybe somebody's sitting down down, uh, they don't know how to approach God. Uh, but help somebody, help somebody, help somebody today. Touch God people, anoint God's people. Now here we are here as ministers to help God's people. Somebody lift your hands and worship God right now. Yes, I see some people worshiping. Yes, some people, I see some young people worshiping God. Yes, the anointing come down on you. Yes, the You know, no. Young men and women are failing 
That's right, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Let's sit down. Let's sit down. And God is looking for young people he can depend on. Hallelujah. Yes. Mr. Johnson, God is looking for young people he can depend on. How many of you are ready to be used by God? Hallelujah. Are you ready to surrender all to God? Are you ready to, to drop to drop all the all the garbage? Let me just stick real to you. All the, the weight. And to toss your net. Yes. Say, Lord, here I am. Use me. Are you ready to give up some stuff for God? Are you ready, young people? Are you ready? Yes. yes, I know that the topic says launch out in the deep, but, I, but some of us, you know, we deep in other stuff. We deep in Facebook, we deep in WhatsApp, we deep in other things. But we're not deep in this. Let me talk to myself. We're not deep enough in this. We need to, we need to get deeper in the word of God. Amen. And I want to talk to you really in the house. There's a lot of deepness around. But God deepness is different from the things that are around. If you got some situations, they're very deep. When you go to school, a lot of pressure's there. Somebody want to pull you in. Come do this, come, come, come do this, come do that. They want to lure you into the waters, lure you. But that water's not clean. It's filthy waters. But God is calling you to clean waters. The best place for you to be is the house of God. The best place. Don't ever, don't ever, don't ever take this lightly. The best place that you're in is in the house of God. And can I talk to them, Bishop? Can I talk to them, sir? Because I know in school a lot of things is going on now. And I'm going to speak it to you plainly. With the guys, is who can get the most girls. Can I talk to the church? You see some of you, oh, you see some of you, la, 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 you're not even listening to me. Because we have young people right underneath our ministry dying. We're preaching the, the roof down, but they're dying. We're speaking in tongues, but they're dying. All the bridges where you stretch your hands. Stretch your hands. Because I found out that my anointing is not for me to build up myself. Oh, Pastor Brown can preach. God gave me anointing to help other people. It's not about you. It's for help others. I vowed to God when I was at my deepest moment, when I felt like I couldn't make it. I was struggling, young people. Let me tell you. You only see a little good now. But if God should roll back the curtain and show you, maybe you would want to hear me preach. But that's the God we serve. God can take a mess and turn it into a message. Are you ready for your chance? Because we sing, we shout, but I know sometimes behind the singing and the shouting and the, and the playing, there's a struggle. Somebody said the struggle is real. Yes. I'm here to help you tonight. I'm not here to preach on the team about to leave. I'm here to sow into you. Don't give up. The devil showed me the window. The bishop's son, he showed me the window. And he said, jump. Because everybody was getting blessed. Everybody had get married and me, I wonder, what happened to me, God? You know, bless me too. I'm struggling. You don't see my struggle? You don't see my pain? At one time I said, God, you don't love me. And I went to church one night and the pastor called me up. I said, Minister Brown, God said to tell you, he loves you. That was it. God loves you. God loves you. And there's no boy, there's no girl that can ever love you like how God loves you. Shut up, my I want all the powerful evangelists to come and find a sister and, and, and put your arms around her. Yes. But some of us sit down tight like I tell fancy cats. Find somebody. Use your anointing and help somebody. Yes. It's time to transfer our anointing from pulpit to people. Yes. 
from the pulpit to people. The pulpit don't need your shouting. People need you. Hug somebody. Ministers, give a, a brother a high five or put your arms around him as long as you're right. Shut up, my cousin. Hold somebody. Find them. Don't stop until you find all the sisters. Hug them. Let them know that God loves you. My sister, my sister, give me your hand. Shut up, my cousin. The Lord sees your pain. He's going to deliver you. He is going to deliver you. All you have to do is continue to shout. Continue to sing. Continue to worship God. Don't give up. Hear my word. I'm speaking unto you today. Don't you ever give up. And though the battle may be hot and the conflict is sore, though rocky may be the road, hold on. Your God is going to see you through. Minister, come and come, minister. Come. Touch one of these brothers. Shut up, my cousin. You service is a time to heal. For the devil's a little bully. When you're by yourself, he wants to flood you with some stuff. But I'm here to tell you you're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. My daughter, you're not alone. You're not alone. My God, son, you're not alone. You're not alone. Lift your hands and say, I'm not alone. The devil wants to make it seem as if you're alone. Wants to bully you in your room. Wants to face you with temptation. Habits, weaknesses. Shaka Makasata. But you can make it. You are ordained to make it. You are ordained. Can I get a shout from the older brethren in the back? Can you stretch your hand towards these young people? Lord of mercy. Unless you forgot what it is to worship God when you were young. Young brothers, I know, I know, it's all about being cool, it's all about having this stuff out there, but serving Jesus is way better. Because this life is just a vapor. We want souls to be ready, we want our young people to be ready for the rapture. We want to be ready for the rapture. I seek for a rapture ready church. Young men, young women who are walking and listening for the voice of the Lord. Shut up. Man. I see some young people being healed tonight. Trust me. I know what it's like to be in church and to shout and sing but struggle. I know what it's like to speak in tongues and manifest. But I'm in the manifestation. I'm hurt. I'm filled with pain. I'm filled with joy. I'm saying, Lord, where are you? But I've come to tell you that God is right beside you. Don't you ever listen to that demon? Shut up, my 
Come on, find some young people. Rescue them, rescue them. Not because you see them have the natural hair and the long dress. That don't mean that they're there. Find them and rescue them. Find a wounded soldier. Many of our young people are wounded because they've been toiling. And while they have been toiling, they get caught. They get bruised. They try, minister. They try. And sometimes when you try, things don't happen. Your feet get hurt. They get, they get caught. So you wonder if God is ever real. Does he see? Does he hear? But I'm here to tell you that God hears. And he sees. There's nothing that God does not know. Don't you ever think that God is not watching over you. I see young people being healed tonight as the bishop has prophesied a special anointing. I'm asking the evangelists, the missionaries, the bishops, the pastors, please open your eyes over the youth. Don't just be impressed by their singing and their shouting, but look in their souls. Hug them, shake their hand, ask them how they're doing. Give them a word, encourage them. Don't let our young people die. Don't let them die. Don't let them die. Young men, you're gonna make it. Stick to the church, you're gonna make it. Don't listen to the you are going to make it. 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 Lift your hands right now. And I want to speak to yourself. Speak it to yourself. I am going to make it. I'm going to make it. No matter the struggle, I'm going to continue to worship. I'm going to press. I am not going to leave my post. If I'm on the choir, I'm going to remain on the choir. If I'm playing the instruments, I'm going to play that instrument. I am not going to stop doing I see purpose in you. Don't give up. My brothers don't give up. My sisters don't give up. When I come to Apostolic Hark, I see a youth with great potential. God bless you, my brother. If you have to shout for your deliverance, show for it. But don't hold back. Your God is going to deliver you. Somebody worship God. Somebody worship God right now. Large again, large again. We can worship God again. But somebody say, I'm not going to worship. I'm not going to praise. Worship God. Show unto God. Show. Lift your hands. Come on, young man. Lift your hands. And show hallelujah. Come on, young man, show hallelujah. Come on, young man, show hallelujah. Shout out to God. God bless you all. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God. That he may be able to stand against the rise of the enemy. Hug somebody right now. Come on, let's hug somebody.
shut up. Make God's unbinded people up. Shake their heart. Give them a Holy Ghost boost. Hallelujah. All praise be to the King.
the Lord. Praise Him. Some people are still at the altar, and God is doing something for them. They are launching out tonight. Praise the Lord. Let the hallelujah roll. Glory to God. This is a youth convocation. Praise the Lord. Praise Him. And we're about to go home. Glory to God. Hallelujah. of the Holy Ghost has surrounded each on tonight. But for one soul, when you're standing on the solid rock and you know the power that you've got just for one soul, Satan, you can't prepare. Once one time, Satan, you're bound to fail. 